And I'm Nathan. And today we're focusing on combinations using the hook kick. Now, we are gonna be focusing on the main hook kick. We're not gonna do any hybrid version of the hacks kick. We'll do a different video of that. So obviously the combinations will be um, catered specifically for the hook kick. Um, our opponent will be moving on the center line forwards and backwards. And we'll be doing combinations also laterally, diagonally forwards and back as well. Okay, so just bear in mind when we throw in these combinations though, we are thinking about the first possible counters. But after that, obviously you'll be going into the stages of counters of the counters of the counters. It'll be a long video and we'll be contradicting a lot of our counters in the first place. So it gets very complicated, yes, yeah? like chess obviously when we get to that stage. But we will cover more counters in a different video. So enjoy the combinations, try and make them your own. These are ones that we found very successful over the years. My kicks are not the only thing that's clean. Manscaped. Before we get to the martial arts, this video has been supported by Manscaped, who is the best in men's below the waist grooming. Manscaped offers precision engineered tools for your family jewels. They obsess over the technology developments to provide you the best tools for your grooming experience. Now, when getting your areas in order, have you ever cut too close or just avoided certain parts of your body because you're scared of the consequences of what might happen? Well, that was me, but not anymore. That's because the Lawnmower 3.0 got me covered. Its cutting edge ceramic blade with advanced skin safe technology reduces grooming accidents. It also has a cool LED light which helps illuminate those difficult areas. And the waterproof technology allows you to use it even in the shower. The battery will last up to 90 minutes so you have plenty of time to trim the hedges and let the tree stand taller. Speaking about the battery, it can easily be charged via the intelligently designed charging dock powered by USB. Now, trim that junk of yours and get 20% off, plus free shipping, with the code TRICKSTER20 at manscaped.com. Your balls will thank you. Right, let's get back to the video. Okay, so just like the other videos, we're going to start by staying on the centre line. This means he's not moving to the left, he's not moving to the right, he's not moving diagonally in any other direction. He's just staying on that centre line. First of all, he's going to be moving back. Again, this could be because he's hesitant or because he's setting up a counter. Okay, I'm going to be throwing uh, the hook kick. But what I would say, if you're uh, more of a, a beginner, or even intermediate, because hook kick's quite a difficult kick, kick to grasp, I think, and get, get to a really good level. If you um, need to, you could always add the side kick first to land your hook kick. That would draw his guard down and then they open up the spot, hopefully to get a hook kick or hacks kick if we're, we're doing that, okay? Um, as you get a bit more skilled, a bit more senior, you tend to be able to lift it like it's gonna be a side kick and then change it to a hook kick. So then it's more um, disguised and a bit easier to land, okay? So if you're at that level, this is what we're, we're talking about for that. If not, you'd use your side kick to maybe land your hook kick in the first place, okay? Right, so I'm going to be advancing in with my hook kick and he's going to be uh, moving back, okay? Now, if he moves back, I go for the hook kick. I could drop into the side kick. Again, just like we talked about with the side kick uh, before, could hit his arm, destroy his arm. We can creep underneath. We can go down into the hip as well, okay? So those are the options with the, the side kick there. Another option, I could go for the hook kick and drop in to the rain base, okay? Now, this could be um, head for both if you wanted to do that. But I would say always not, it's nice to drop to the body and also gives you that option then to land in and come in with your hands as well. But yeah, it depends what's open and what you want to take. Yeah, the headshot obviously is more points as well, so you might want to be hitting them in the head. Okay, right, so when we're here now, I go for the, the hook kick. I can drop into the side or I can go into the round. Okay, also if you've got someone tall for Nathan, <laughs> it's like Nathan, it's a little <laughs> bit more difficult to, to hit him in the head with a rain ace kick. But if you've got the flexibility, obviously you can, you can get there, it's up to you. Okay, um, now let's say he's advancing in. So he's jamming my hook kick a little bit, okay? So if, I, if, he, if I'm going for the hook kick now and he moves, advances in, I might get into his shoulder a little bit and I might be bouncing off a little bit. Now he's gonna be probably what do you want to fire, Nathan? Let's just ask. Probably. Yeah, it's probably, gonna be, it's probably gonna be his left hand. So we've got a couple of options here. One is peeling off this way, doing our quarter turn. Yeah, giving him an angle to think about. Maybe wanting to stay in the pocket. Okay, the other one is getting out of space back. So it depends on the fight that you are as well and what you want to do, okay? And also their skill level, because you might be able to compete with the, the aggression of your, the, that opponent at that time. But it might be someone that's better than you at, at that, that range and you want to get out of there, okay? So it depends on the situation. If I'm here now and I'm getting jammed with this hook kick, another option is the back kick. Now, a lot of people say the back kick won't work and I do agree with you here, 
back kicks can be very difficult to work, so what I do, boom, I add a nice little jump so I can create the space. Okay? So there's a couple of options there, but if you're getting bounced off a hook kick, try and consider as well that you might be losing your balance a little bit. So that's why a back kick and a jump back kick is quite a good option because once I've bounced off to here, it's very easy just to chuck it out, yeah? But if I'm uh, that uh, moving around, it's gonna be quite difficult. Let's say he gets me a good one. As I go here, it's gonna be very difficult to get that position. So it depends obviously on, on the contact of that as well and how you're connecting with them. So the back kick is normally the go-to option. Okay, so now we're gonna to go to the safer side. For the hook kick, because we're traveling this way with the hook kick, the safer side is the eight side, because it'll give him more time, it's more time to counter, more time to react. Yeah, maybe even just block the technique. But if he's moving obviously towards it, it gives him less time, and he's going into the kick. We can do that if we're a little bit more skilled and we know what we're doing or we're trying to draw the kick. It's a little bit different. We'll move on to that in a, in a bit. But for now, we'll go to more of the safer option, which beginners will tend to use, and even the more experienced ones will use as well. Because if they're against, uh, if they're fighting the more experienced ones, they're gonna be normally fighting against more experienced opponents which are expecting this as well. Okay, so if I'm going for the hook kick now, he's gonna move to his safer side back diagonally. And what I think from here is dropping into that side kick is a very good option, okay? Now, so it's just like the, the, the center line one. We were doing the side kick and Reynes kick. This one though, because of the angle he's now chose, it's very easy for me to go into the side kick. I can change my alignment very easily for that. Okay, but the Reynes kick, very nasty. If I'm going for the hook kick here, I have to really bring this hip around to try and get that Reynes. I'm not saying it's not possible, it is possible, you just see me do it. Okay, but it's a little bit more pressure on your hip. It's a nasty position to go into. It's not as strong. Yeah, and I feel a little bit compromised when I finish it as well. So I might get the point, but then I'm compromised afterwards. The side kick though, I feel really strong. I feel like I can advance in, I can do, do whatever I want to after it, and that's, with a combination, that's how you want to feel. You want to feel like you can move out, you can move in, you can just do some footwork. Whatever you want to do, you can do, okay? Right, so the hook kick to side kick is, is one of my favorite options. So we go hook, boom, blast that side kick. And then again, I'm hitting him in the arm at the moment because I don't want to be uh, too punishing for him, okay? But from here, remember, we just like we were doing the side kick earlier, we got the arm to destroy the arm. We can creep underneath here. We can also go down slightly into the hip as well if you want to damage the leg a little bit, okay? So more than likely for me, if I was trying to obviously score points, trying to maybe dig them a little bit in the, in the ribs underneath the, the arm, I'd try and go for the hook kick here, boom, and then I'd fit it underneath there, okay? Right, so that's the hook kick to side kick. Another option as well, you move into this side, which actually helps me with the spin kicks. I mean, you know I like spin kicks. Okay, so when we're here now, I go for the hook kick, and from this position now, more than likely, what do you feel like you want to count with me? Hand or rear round ace? Yeah, re rear hand, rear round ace, okay? That's where he's saying this. So if he went in for the rear hand, as he's making that rear hand, boom, he eats that back kick nicely, okay? Now, again, I'd say the back kick because if he's moving in, obviously it doesn't get jammed that easily, the back kick. If it's a spinning side kick, you can ride it or you come around it. it can, sorry, it goes around him, and obviously he can punch me. Okay, let's say now he's more confident, and as I make this hook kick, he actually moves in this time, okay? If I'm throwing the hook kick and he moves in, yeah, it's a very bad position to be in, okay? It's very difficult to actually peel a rein now or do any, any movements around this way. I would say the go-to option would be going in underneath trying to fit that back kick. Now, a lot of you will say that back kick won't work because it'd be too jammed and you'd be getting punched potentially in the back of the head. Yeah, which is fair. I agree with you to some extent, okay? You can lean back and you get a, a pretty decent back kick in there, but if you can and you're a little bit more skilled, what I'd say is go to the jump back kick. So if I'm here, I'm going for the hook kick here, I get jammed, boom, come straight out, we get that back kick underneath, we score our point, makes him very weary of closing the distance in the future as well, especially if I catch him with a good back kick. I'm just hitting with a flat my foot at the minute, I'm being very nice to him. But if I was hitting more with my heel and the blade of the foot digging in, yeah, even through this, he's not gonna wanna do that, um, probably more than once or twice. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna suck. So, those are the options, I think, for moving uh, more to the, the safer side. Yeah, remember to kind of, not have that rain ace being thrown so much if they're moving that way because it is a little bit more difficult and it compromises you. But the side kick still works and the back kicks, the spin kicks are a very good option forwards and back. <laughs> okay.
Okay, so Nathan's now going to move to the other side. Now, this side gives him a little bit less time to react. It's a little bit more dangerous if you're not used to it, but a more skilled opponent would move this direction to kind of throw you off, be a little more, a bit more diverse when they're fighting. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to be uh, advancing in, and he's going to be moving back diagonally, okay? As he does this now, throwing the hook kick, more than likely what you'll want to probably throw is a lead round ace, okay? So we're going to want to... Try and have this arm in to cover us. Now, a lot of people, when they throw hook kicks, they'll bring, bring that backhand down. So you've got to be very careful and keep this nice and tight because if he's very skilled, what you can actually do is rain ace kick straight away underneath. Okay, so if that arm's there, it kind of covers me a little bit. He still might catch me, and there's not much you can do about that. They're, they're a very skilled opponent. They might get that little spot and get their point. But as you can see there, having that arm there actually just saved me a little bit there. All right? Let's say the Norris skills that, and they need to load a little bit. All right, as I'm throwing the hook kick now, I go for the hook kick, and as he goes to load the rain ace, I throw my rain ace, okay? Now, this way, um, the rain ace is a more viable option, whereas the other side was the side kicks, the alignment change. Now, it's just like this side now, because the alignment has changed as I throw the hook kick, the side kick's actually very difficult, because I have to come back around to get my, my alignment for the side kick, which takes too much time. It feels a little bit more awkward, okay? It's possible, but it is more awkward. The rain ace kick just feels... Yeah, so much easier to do. As I go for the hook kick, it just flows. I can boom. It's quick. Okay, now I'm going to the body. I could easily go to his head as well. Don't obviously do that because I'll be hitting his visor, hitting him in the head, obviously, as well. Okay, so that's a very good option. We could also, let's say we're a little bit more jammed. Let's say I put a bit too much oomph in. All right, so I'm the one that's closing the distance, not him. If I do that, I close the distance a little bit. I now have this jab to come in as well. Again, be wary if your opponent's very good with their hands. We can go into a punching match if you really want to, but eventually try and peel back, get that side kick in, or get that body rain ace in. I prefer the side kick because it creates that distance, yeah? Okay, so that's more of um, me moving in, or him going back. This one now is going to be him advancing on my hook kick, so he's going to be jamming my hook kick, okay? So as I go for my hook kick now, he's going to come into it. Now this position is a very nasty position to be in, okay? Now I'd say for this position, just like earlier we were talking about uh, trying to peel a rain, coming around this side, it's not a very good option for here, it's gonna take too long, okay? He's gonna be probably throwing loads of techniques before that happens. So I would say the best option for you is again, I love it, it's the, the jump back kick this time though. The spin back kick could still work, um, because what we could try and do is put his foot across to create the space, but if he's advancing a little bit, come in, it's gonna be still very difficult to get that back kick in. Whereas a jump, I create the distance and space in one motion. So it's very easy for me to create that distance and land a back kick on him, okay? Create that space. So as I throw the hook kick, he rides here, boom! I get that back kick shooting out there, okay? If he uh, was hesitant and he moved back, then obviously we could change that to a, a spin and side kick or a spin hook kick. So it depends whether he wants to stay in as well, because he could paint in and paint back out. Okay, so you have to be a bit more weary of that. But if you're jumping back, if he's already moved back and you're moving back, You've created tons of space anyway, so you're back to square one. Okay, so there's a few combinations. Have fun with them. There are a lot more, obviously, but these are ones that I think that will kind of help you and, and give you a kind of an idea of how to move a little bit more when you're sparring. Okay, so those are a few combinations. I hope you enjoyed them. Um, like I said, they've been very successful for us over the years, but you might want to mix them up a little bit and make them your own, add different combinations. Just play with them, have a little bit of fun. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for your support. Team GNT, Century, get the code. <laughs> yeah, don't forget to use my code. <laughs> <laughs>